Hello everyone, today we will observe the network connectivity state using Jetpack Compose. So here is an example. So currently the network is disconnected. Let's turn this on and let's go back here. It's connected and now if we turn this off again, it should say unavailable. Okay, and you will also have the GitHub repository in the description. So let's jump into Android Studio to implement this. So the first thing we have to do is to create the sealed interface that will handle the state of the network. So let's start by saying sealed, sealed interface network connection state. Open the curly brackets and now we need to define two objects. Data object called available inherit from the network connection state and the second one is unavailable and this also inherits from the network connection oh, connection state okay now we need to create a separate function let's make this private on network callback and open the curly brackets now we need to create a callback that will update the state later so let's say callback network connection state and return unit now we need to return a connectivity manager dot network callback and let's remove the curly brackets and simply put on equals and now we can create an object that inherits from the connectivity manager dot network callback and now we need to override two things override on available and override okay so i noticed a mistake that i have done at the beginning of the video the on unavailable should be replaced with on lost and let's pass the network because if we let on unavailable the state won't update when the user lost the network connection and if we are using on lost it should update in the on available we simply say callback and pass the network connection state available and in the second one we replace it with unavailable now in order to know the current connectivity state we need to create a separate function called get current connectivity state and this has a connectivity manager and it returns a connect Connectivity, oh sorry network connection state and open the curly brackets so now we need to get the current network so let's say network is equal to connectivity manager dot active network add the permission in the manifest and now let's say vol is connected equals to connectivity manager get network capabilities as the network let's put this on a new line and let's check if it has capabilities so network capabilities dot net capability internet and if it's not it will be false and let's also return if is connected we return network connection state dot available otherwise we simply say network connection state dot unavailable to easily observe the changes that are made to the network connectivity we will use a flow so let's say context observe connectivity as flow and this will return a flow of network connection state and now let's put an equals and let's say callback flow so this will launch a call flow that we'll use to return from the callback that we'll create in a couple of seconds. So let's say vol connectivity manager is equal with git get system service and say context dot connectivity service as connectivity manager and now we say vol callback is equal with network callback and now we say try send and this will emit a value to our callback flow and we say the connection state connection state emit that so connection state now we need to create a network request and this is equal with network request dot builder 
add capability network capabilities net capability internet and dot build now let's say connectivity manager register network callback and pass the network request and the callback now let's say connectivity manager dot register network callback and here we need to pass the network request and the callback now we need to say the current state is equals to get current connectivity state and pass the connectivity manager and we need to emit this so try send current state and the last thing we have to do is to close this callback flow otherwise the function will crash the application and let's say connectivity manager our register network callback and pass the network request sorry network uh, the callback now we need to create a separate current connectivity state that will be used by the produce state when we create the function that will return the network state as a state of jetpack compose so let's say on context current connectivity state and this will return our network connection state oh i said a variable not a function and now we need to say get open the curly brackets and let's get the connectivity manager so connectivity manager is equal with get system service and pass the net the context dot connectivity service as connectivity manager now let's return get current connectivity state and pass the connectivity manager now we can finally create the function that will be used by the ui so that will return the state so let's say fun and let's remember connectivity state and this will return a state of network connection state and open the curly brackets let's also annotate this with composable because we are using the compose state so let's say context is equal with local context dot current now let's simply say return produce state and the initial value is context dot current connectivity state and now we'll use the context dot observe connectivity as flow collect and this will simply say value is equal with it and the it is the latest value that I mean uh, the observe connectivity as flow emits now let's create the composable so let's say comp and create the network screen and remove the modifier because we don't need it and here we will have the connection oops, connection state by remember connectivity state and now we need to create the is connected variable and this is equal with remember and let's put this the let put, let's put the connection state here because we want to update the value when the connection state changes and let's say connection state and uh, it oops network connection state available and this means when the connection state is the same as the network connection state available now let's create a box and let's fill the max size content alignment dot center and we simply say let's put this on a new line and check if it's connected we display connected otherwise we say unavailable and let's also make the font font size of 48 uh, sp and font weight bold let's run the app and see how it looks okay so at the moment we don't have any network so let's connect to t-mobile and wi-fi and as you can see is connected and let's also turn this off and voila it's unavailable so if you like this video make sure to subscribe and see you in the next video